Scientists say new technology could warn us if an earthquake is coming, and they want to see if it's something that would work here in Utah. This is fascinating information that could save lives. Fox 13's Ben Winslow has the story from Utah's Capitol Hill. Lawmakers were briefed on a $150,000 funding request to study new technology for an earthquake early warning system. It gives us time, you know, even if it's 10 seconds, it gives us time to shut these things off and make it more secure and, you know, save lives. The system works like this. Depending on where the quake is, sensors can sound alarms and notify people like an Amber Alert. But first, we have to see if it would even work in Utah. It is a different situation. There's different faults. Uh, there's different rocks, and so we do what we're advocating for is essentially a feasibility study. So just sort of an investigation to see what are the sort of things we need to focus on. Utah has a number of earthquake fault lines. The biggest is the Wasatch Fault, stretching the length of where the population center is. The 5.7 magnitude Magna earthquake in 2020 caused about 70 million in damage. People up here say, was that the big one? And it wasn't the big one. That was a 5.7. And if, if we had a 6, 6.1, it would have been twice the magnitude, twice the amount of energy would have been released. So this was kind of a wake-up call, but not necessarily a big one. And the odds of a major earthquake are increasing every day. Projections are a 7 or greater magnitude quake could kill 2,000 people initially and cause 30 billion in damage. We could get a big one, you know, like 1 in 2 in the next 50 years of greater than 6 and about a one in five of a 6.75 or greater. And we get that big, we're gonna cause serious damage. And if, if it comes at the wrong time of day, you know, you could have probably 80,000 homes in the Great Salt Lake Valley. Scientists who presented to the legislative committee also had a list of things the state should be doing, including shoring up water lines, making sure schools are safer, making changes to more than 140,000 buildings with unreinforced masonry, and enforcing existing building codes. We're kind of behind the ball. Now, this is a funding request, so the committee took no action and we'll have to wait and see what the overall state budget looks like and whether or not the study gets funded. If it is a success and the state decides to implement an earthquake early warning system, that could cost millions. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.